this video I am going to uh, discuss the short run equilibrium of a perfectly competitive firm. If you want to know the idea of a perfect competition market, characteristics of perfect competition, uh, how price is determined in the market, how uh, what is the revenue of a perfectly competitive firm, you can check the video of a perfect competition part 1. Now, we know that uh, demand curve for a perfectly competitive market is a horizontal line. So, if you measure quantity of x on x axis and price, marginal revenue, average revenue, marginal cost and average cost on y axis. This is the price line which is equal to AR, which is equal to MR. This price is determined by the market and this firm uh, will accept this price. So firm cannot change the price. This is the average cost curve. This is the marginal cost curve. So now we want to find the equilibrium output of this firm and whether this firm is earning or whether this firm is making profit or loss in the short term. So before we uh, find whether this firm is earning profit or not, we first need to uh, look at the equilibrium conditions. Equilibrium Conditions. So, first condition is MR is equal to MC, that is, marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost, and second condition is MC must be rising. At equilibrium point, marginal cost must be rising. So, now we we'll take first condition that is MR is equal to MC at this point point A and point B at these two points marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost but at point A marginal cost is declining which means that it is better for the firm to increase the output because marginal cost is declining, marginal revenue is constant, so firm will firm can earn more profit by producing more of this commodity. And therefore, this firm cannot stop the production at point A. At point B, marginal cost and marginal revenue is same and marginal cost is increasing. Therefore, if firm increases the output after reaching point B, the marginal cost is higher than marginal revenue and hence firm will lose the profit. And therefore, B is the equilibrium point at which these two conditions are satisfied that is marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost and marginal cost must be rising. So firm will, firm will be in equilibrium at point B and suppose output of this commodity is OQ. Therefore, if we calculate total revenue, total revenue is price into quantity. So price is OP, quantity is OQ that is OP into OQ so total revenue is OPDQ now we want to find the cost of the production of OQ so that is total cost so total cost suppose this is point C so this OC and uh, CQ and OD shows the per unit cost. So if we want to find the total cost, it is OD 
is equal to OQ that is average cost into total quantity. So therefore this is ODCQ. So here total revenue is OPBQ. Total cost is ODCQ. This shows that total revenue is higher than total cost. Therefore, this firm is earning profit. So, profit is denoted by pi, which is equal to TR minus TC, that is total revenue minus total cost. Here, total revenue is OPBQ. OPBQ minus total cost is ODCQ. So if we subtract ODCQ that is total cost from OPBQ that is total revenue so we will get the profit that is DPBC DPBC and therefore this is the profit that this firm is earning in the short run and this is known as abnormal profit. Again, the firm is in equilibrium when MR is equal to MC and marginal cost must be rising. So at point A and B, the first condition is satisfied. But at point A, marginal cost is declining and therefore it is not, uh, if firm increases the output after point A, firm will earn more profit. So firm will not stop the production at point A. At point B, marginal cost is increasing. This means that if firm increases the output, if firm produces more output than OQ, then firm will earn loss or firm will lose the money because any point above point B shows that marginal cost is higher than marginal revenue. So firm will be in equilibrium at point B at which equilibrium output is OQ and equilibrium price is OP. And this price is determined by the market, not by the firm. So this firm is price taker. Now, total revenue. Total revenue is OP into OQ. That is OP, OQ. And it is equal to OP, B, Q. Total cost is average cost into quantity. So here average cost of OQ is CQ which is exactly equal to OD. So therefore OD into OQ, which is equal to ODCQ. So here total revenue OPBQ is higher than total cost, that is ODCQ. So if we subtract total cost from total revenue, we will get profit, which is equal to TR minus TC, and it is equal to DPBC. Now we are going to discuss the idea or when firm will lose money or when firm will uh, on negative profit that is firm is making loss in the short run. So here firm is as we know that firm is price taker. We measure quantity of x on x axis, price, marginal revenue, average revenue, average cost and marginal cost on y axis. This is OP that is price and this price is determined by the market and this is equal to marginal revenue and average revenue. This is the average cost curve of this firm. 
this is marginal cost curve of this firm and marginal cost and marginal revenue are equal at this point that is F and G so at these two points first order condition is satisfied but at point F marginal cost is declining and from and therefore from uh, cannot be equilibrium at point F at point G both the conditions are satisfied and firm is in the equilibrium so suppose firm produces OQ quantity of a commodity so therefore G is the equilibrium point OP is the equilibrium price and OQ is the equilibrium quantity so if you want to calculate TR we need to multiply quantity with price so that is OP into OQ which is equal to OP G Q this is the total revenue total cost that is average cost into quantity so if I extend this line I will get the average cost suppose this is H and if I extend this line to Y axis I will get I so average cost is OI per unit average cost and total quantity is OQ so total cost is OI into OQ that is OIHQ OIHQ you can easily observe that total cost is higher than total revenue which means that this firm is not making profit or the profit of this firm is negative so therefore loss is PC minus PR which is equal to OIHQ minus OPGQ so here this firm is making loss of P I H G P I H G The question is whether this firm will exit the market or continue the production So if this price O P the price O P that is the equilibrium price if this price is higher than or equal to average variable cost the firm will continue to produce even if firm is making loss in the short run but if this price is less than average variable cost the firm will stop the production and leave the market in the short run so this is the idea of short run equilibrium of a perfectly competitive firm thank you